Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to our Mine Colony series, where behind me you see the mine that we built in the last episode, and of course we've got the actual mine there as well, with the uh, Mine Colonies mine. And I haven't done anything in streams in between episodes today, we're picking right back up, for, back up, back up, I should say, from the last episode. Uh, but if you are interested in my streams, there'll be a link uh, in the video description, and there'll be a little thing on stream right now, uh, or on screen right now, I should say, showing you where that is. Now, I'm worried I might have a little bit of morning voice, so if I sound a bit off, uh, that's why, uh, yeah, apologies in advance, let me know, let me know if I sound different to you if you were thinking that before I even said it but what we're going to do today as you can tell by the thumbnail and title is we're looking at farming and getting the villagers or the citizens I should say automatically farming now this is obviously my farming area and also it's quite near the mine where we have a worker right now so I think it will be cool we have a worker there put a house like in here and a farm like in here somewhere and then they'd all be like together and that way we can sort of keep an eye on them a bit easier protect them from mobs and also they won't have as big of a commute so that's very good, uh, but we need some space for it, and I'm realizing that this flaxseed is probably the stuff to get rid of. So unfortunately, the flax does not work in the way I thought it did. The flax string here, this is how you make it right. Uh, if we go, if we hover over that and hit U, it gives you the uses. And basically, it can be made to make a backpack, which we already have a massively upgraded backpack, um, or a bowstring, or a bowstring. <laughs> so yeah, don't really need any of those things, and it's just kind of pointless having it. So. We now have all the flax that we need. I thought we'd be able to use it like normal string. That is not the case. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take this down and then we're going to look at uh, getting a farm in place and we can probably like get it going over here if we need to. Now the only issue is going to be the size of the farm. So that is something that I haven't checked out yet. I thought I'd do that with you guys. Um, so this is an actual farm right here. That's the farmland. And then we're going to need a field as well, potentially depending on what design we go for. So if we head back here, we can make up the hoe and get the planks that we need to make this. And uh, then obviously we can lay it down and see how it's going to look. So a couple of sticks and a load of you guys. And we're going to make up a wooden hoe for this. Uh, you can see here on the recipes, the wooden hoe will give us one of the farm and we can get two if we were to use a stone one, but we're fine with just one for now. Very good. So uh, what I want to do is uh, look at where we're going to situate this and I'm hoping this is going to work out. So let's just right click here. What is this? This is uh, medieval spruce. Okay, so the other thing as well is obviously you want to see the designs. Now at level five, <laughs> yep, there we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's open to land again. Let's get into uh, creative mode so we can actually fly around and see this. I highly recommend you do this if you're playing in your worlds, guys. Just get a really good idea of where the building's going to go and going into creative mode is going to be the way to do that. So this is about as far that way as it can go because then we've got the town border here, right? So this one here is the border and this like cube around it here is the extremities of the building. Um, so that would be as far as we could go with this design, but do we like this design? Uh, it's okay, but we're getting dark oak, so I want to see some dark oak designs, right? Uh, Nordic's cool. Um, stone might not be too bad. We can have it yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be the exact same building. It can look a bit different if it's if it's stone instead of dark oak. And I have to say, I don't hate that. Um, you know, it does look like quite a nice farmery sort of building. We might have to move the sugarcane farm. I'm not too worried about that if we need to do that. If we put it like here or something, move the sugarcane farm, I'd rather do that and keep these guys close together. But these redstone blocks are the extremities of the mine. So we're going to need to go back a bit that way. So we'll have a look anyway. We'll see if the dark oak one is smaller or bigger or whatever. Um, that's a, Actually, wooden might be nice. So it's the same design, but wooden instead of stone. I actually think that is nicer, a uh, bit more in keeping with the theme. Um, same size as well. Uh, Acacia, let's see, dark oak, no, that's not the dark oak I wanted. Is there a medieval dark oak? That's what I'm thinking. Yes, there is. Oh, and it's small as well, which is an advantage. Uh, it definitely looks like it's smaller than the other build. So that's coming back. Yeah, this would be where it would go. Um, I don't know, it does look alright, but I just, you know, I want to do whatever looks the nicest, and I have to say, I don't know that Medieval Dark Oak does it. Oh my goodness, there's a windmill there, is there? Okay, we might have a winner. I think we might need to use a windmill. <laughs> that is so cool. And this even gives you an outline of the farm. So if we do it this way, uh, we need to maybe bring it like this a bit. But then it's overlapping that build. See, it's so hard to get them all in the right place. That's the that's the issue. Now, when we step, expand our town borders and stuff, that might be all right. But now it's going in the way of the supply camp as well. Yeah, not sure about this then. Maybe we, maybe we need to move some stuff. Maybe if I move like the cow farm, and we could have it there. But then the supply camp's going to be in the way. Oh my goodness, life can be difficult. Now, of course, we can always have more than one farm as well. Maybe with spruce as well. And a spruce alternative. Okay, that's quite a nice building, actually. The medieval resource alternatives. Do they have a dark oak one? No. 
Alright, it's turning night time and I need to have a big think about this. So I'm going to get a bit of a plan together. I just wanted to show you some of the different designs on camera. Uh, when I come back, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have a good plan in place and we'll start getting this thing built. Okay, I think I finally have come to a bit of a decision. So what we've got here is of course the mine and that's going to be there permanently. So that is going to eventually be a level 5 building. It's going to look very cool and I don't want anything too near it to sort of detract from it. I think we need some space in between our cool buildings and I would consider this to be another one. <laughs> this farm is awesome. A uh, huge windmill right there a nice farm building this is of course level five uh we can have a look at level one you know it's, it's hard to tell right now there is a little windmill here you can see um but yeah obviously it looks vastly different but I, I i really like this so go back to level five this is how it's gonna look now we're gonna put it there but of course we're not gonna place it just yet because what we're gonna need to do is move the cows move the sugarcane farm move the wheat farm and then flatten this whole area and get rid of what used to be the flax uh, seed farm and just make it a big flat grassland now that might sound like a lot it's actually not too bad the worst thing is gonna be moving the cows but in all honesty it isn't that bad and i can uh, i can spend a little bit of time doing that so i'm gonna actually flatten this whole area right now then we'll get this thing built i'll do a little time lapse of it being built of course at level one guys not level five don't get too excited uh, but it is going to look very cool so let me go and clear the area and then we'll uh, come back and get this thing started okay i think i had a bit of a big brain moment guys <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to move the cows into this pen right here from where they are and look at this you could that, look how excited they are they already want to get in here they're like this is so much better you know and uh so i think this will be the way to do it. So we open this up we can hopefully get these guys going in that's right uh, but of course we are going to need to trap them with the wheat so we want to start these ones right out here and here we go guys come on obviously we have to move this for the farm that we're building but yeah this could work well um everybody involved here yep okay so what we'll do i'll take them right to the back of this place here you still coming oh dang i lost a few all right uh, and the idea is that if i get them all breeding they'll be too busy breeding to worry about you know this Aha, there we go, it worked. Now I'm going to have to like get some fence gates in um, so I can get in and out. <laughs> I don't have any fence gates right now. Uh, but that's not too difficult to add at a later date. We could also uh, just you know do the carpet trick and not even use fence gates if we really wanted to. Because to be honest, like once these farms start developing, we're going to need to do that anyway. So the point is, the cows are now moved and they were the last thing to do, as you can see around here. The wheat's been taken down. It's, uh, it's all starting to regrow to grass as well, so it's going to be really nice when it's all grass, actually. Um, I filled it in with dirt in the meantime, of course. And I think, you know, the pigs, and the chicken maybe even the sheep as well they're all gonna be quite close to this farm building they may need to move over time but at least for now we can get the farm building set up um so actually do you know what i wasn't going to do it in this clip but uh seeing as we've got through that pretty quickly and i'm still talking let's do it uh let me let's see i'm open to land so game mode creative here we go and uh fly, a little fly around to get this situated so this should be fine we should be good now let's get it roughly down right here okay uh let's get to level five so we can see what we're doing this is medieval oak. Yep, so we need to turn you twice. We're going to have the windmill on that side, like that. And so this here is going to be the farm area within these these poles here, I think. So that's going to be cool. Uh, okay, so now it's a question of exactly where do we want this. So um, I think it's a bit close to the supply camp at the moment. So maybe move it a couple blocks that way. Um, this is about where it's going to be. I think, yeah. Uh, no, it's quite close to the mine. I might move it back a couple blocks that way as well, because I believe... Yeah, we're still not interfering with those farms. Just checking the footprint here is all good. But yeah, I think that that's going to be absolutely fine. So this is where the farm is going to be, guys. A lot of this stuff is going to be moved over time. This is just a temporary setup to get me building and, and that sort of thing. And it's going to be an industrial area. We've got the mine here. We're going to have the farm here, of course. And I will replace the farms that we just lost. So this is what this is going to be, like my industrial area. Once we have that and the resources are being set up and stuff, we'll do some of the cooler looking and, and more fun builds and stuff over that way, more closer to the town hall and, uh, you know, nearer, like, building up a bit of a city over there. Anyway, so yes, let's do this. So we're going to tick you right there. Uh, let's fly down here a bit so back into survival and see what this thing needs um so first of all of course we need to actually get the building being built so uh philip do us proud and uh, once he takes up the job we'll be able to see on here exactly what we need i don't think it's going to be too bad i also have a lot of oak at the moment uh, let's see i've got well almost 300 logs and a load of planks and stuff so we should be fine uh, oh we're gonna need to make a field okay so that's uh let's see field here we go so here's a field block. This is what you need to make it, guys. Different options at the top there. A few sticks and a bit of leather. So that's 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 not too bad. Uh, the other stuff, yeah, not too bad at all. Just going to be a little bit fiddly and will take some time. So I won't do this on camera. Um, but what I'll do is I'll give him all the resources. And once he starts building it, uh, we'll do a little time lapse again. So I was halfway through doing a time lapse. And I realized something. 
I've built this entire farm, or at least got it started building, in the entire wrong level. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's get back into survival mode here. Uh, yeah, first thing we need to do is come in here, cancel the build. Um, as you can see, everything's too low. I want it to be on this level right here. Yeah, and, and like the big giveaway is the field right here. This field block is uh, is definitely too low. Just all round, I've I've messed up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to basically take down everything that's here, give all the materials back to Philip, and then say, yep, go ahead and build it again. Only this time, build it, you know, on the right level. Um, that is a big dirt for me, but it does bring me on to an important tip, guys. One that I should have mentioned earlier to myself, which is always be sure when you're doing the building and use your builder wand and stuff that it is at the right Y level. It's very easy to just look, and, and I did it just then, so you see how easy it could be, to just look at the orientation and go, yeah, that looks good. I think that's, you know, looking nice and stuff, and then forget about the Y level, and you can make a, a mistake like I've just made. Now, luckily, I've caught this at a, a level where we can, we can go through this pretty quickly. Um, you know, take all the stuff down and get it rebuilt. Uh, but you guys may not be quite so lucky uh, if that's the case. Uh, so, yeah, like if we'd built the whole thing, <laughs> that would have sucked. Anyway, I'm going to go rectify this and we'll get it built at the correct Y level. And uh, once I've done that and then, you know, it's, it's at the right place, then I'll do a time lapse of that happening. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well the farm is now built and built <laughs> the correct level as well, so that is awesome. Uh, it looks very very cool I have to say, and uh, this is just level 1, you guys saw obviously how it's going to look at level 5, but it would be nice to see this one advance through. Now because I derped up I'm going to need to fill in some dirt in these areas here, and there's a few back here as well, but other than that we're about good to go, and uh, I think we can look at getting in our first person. Now uh, in terms of the workers, I want to hire Mackenzie, not Giles, I want it to be a woman for now, and the the reason for that is because we have a lady over there doing our mining um that is marine of course and when i built the house here we're going to get a house built nearby and we're going to build that up to level two and i want the two ladies to be living in there together so that we don't get any citizens so to get new citizens you basically uh, need a man and a woman living in a house together and uh, then you know over time you'll get a new citizen but before i do that i want to get my happiness a lot better so that the citizen that we get will have better skills uh, also i would like to sort of be ready for the expansion because expansion although it's good and having more citizens to do more jobs and things is good it brings in some extra challenges there's more people to feed there's raids that are going to happen there's more jobs to find more houses you need to keep them happy and all that sort of stuff so yeah it's not something i'm going to rush into now let's have a look in here so Mackenzie currently lives in here so we're gonna to have to move her i thought that was the case but we'll wait until the new house is built it's fine that she's here for now it doesn't really matter too much that would of course be a great house for the builder i would say because uh, he's you know 
Let's talk about a short commute, right? <laughs> so that's probably what's going to happen. Now, Giles is feeling very left out at the moment, so we're going to need to sort him out. But first, I think what we want to do is go look at what crops we want to be uh, farming in our new farm. So I'm going to go and tidy all up all those areas that need dirt placed and uh, make a decision on what crops we're going to use. And once I've done that, we'll come and have a look and see how the farming is going to work. Okay, so Mackenzie has showed up for work, and uh, she's definitely dressed for the job. <laughs> so now we're just going to fulfill some of the requests that she has. Uh, not the sleep, we, we're going to work on that in a future episode. As for fertilizer, I don't have enough bones to really give her, and it's not that necessary, um, but the hoe, that's what we're going to give her. So we're going to make her semi-happy, right? She's going to have a hoe. Now, uh, what we're going to actually farm here is going to be potatoes. So we put potato in there, and uh, she's probably going to ask us for potatoes at some point if we don't give her some. Um, yep, fertilizer, I know, let's just give you a load of potatoes for now. Now, the reason for potatoes, guys, is it's re relatively simple crop to farm, right? So, uh, it's one thing, it's just the potatoes being farmed here. Uh, we can then take those and we can cook them up and they are a fantastic food source for your citizens because they can be farmed so easily and you can eventually automate this where she'll, you know, farm them and we'll have delivery man uh, taking them around the town and all that sort of stuff uh, and put them in the restaurant to be cooked. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really simple. Uh, so... That's what we're going to go for. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and hoe all this land. And uh, if we watch her for a bit, then hopefully when we come back in a second, she'll start planting some of these potatoes and we'll take a little look at the farming process. Okay, here she goes, guys. Mackenzie is getting to work very diligent. <laughs> so some potatoes are being planted. Now, uh, what she'll do, she'll plant all of the ones that she has on her from her inventory here, obviously all of these ones. And uh, then once they are ready to be harvested, she'll harvest them and she'll put them back in her farm inventory, which is up in here, of course. Here's the farm so uh, it'll go in there now the farm and the field as you can see basically work together so although this particular design that i chose a farm has a field incorporated within it not all of them do so sometimes you will build like the farm a block there and then you have to build a field separately on, like, on your own like nearby um so yeah that's just something to kind of bear in mind with this but this is how it's going to work now what i'm going to do is add some things to the area i'm going to like light the area up to make it a bit safer and that sort of thing um oh wandering trader hey dude um don't really have that much that I want. I actually want to sleep right now, although maybe some of those dyes could be useful. What I've been doing, uh, as we're talking about farming this episode, why not? Let's go have a look at the sheep. <laughs> it's getting very colorful here, guys. Look how pretty this is. So I've got some different dyes and then, like, just bred different, like, so for example, I went with the red and the yellow to get the, uh, the orange. I went red and white to get the pink and that sort of thing. So, yeah, we're trying to get, like, all the different colors here. Uh, of sheep and so we can get all the different wool a because i'll probably want to build out of it at some point and b because some of the mine colonies things need different colors of wool um so yeah there we go so uh, mackenzie there working on the farm and uh, that's about it we've got the farm up and running so there's kind of what the episode was all about and i have to say it's looking pretty cool as well and as you saw at level five it's gonna look insane so uh, all the other stuff like lighting up the area and adding in the dark oak forest i talked about last time all that sort of stuff will be done on my twitch link in the description do come along and say hello guys uh, it's always cool to hang out with you guys uh, you my colonies fans on twitch uh, and also if you are enjoying the series or if you're new here please do consider liking and subscribing it's greatly appreciated and of course you'll get more my colonies videos so win-win uh, right <laughs> anyway guys to everyone who's watched this episode I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.